Welcome, sports fans. Today, we are going to be doing the first Syntax Snake Draft, and we are going to be drafting our favorite VS Code plugins. That's right, each person gets the opportunity to draft a VS Code plugin in order, and we're doing this as a snake draft. So it goes person one, two, three, three, two, one, until we each have five VS Code extensions on our roster. And there's also going to be steals. Each person gets one steal where we can steal another person's pick. And once a VS Code extension is, is picked, it's off the table, no duplicate picks. And at the end of this, y'all are going to get to vote on who has the best team of VS Code extensions. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, I, I'm, I'm ready to go. We're going to start off with a draft order randomizer so you can all see that this is a totally above board. I'm gonna, I didn't even make this, so it's not going to put me first. Whatever. I'm going to click randomize, and we're going to see what the order is. Oh, it put me first. Okay. Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> I think second's a good spot to be because I get second every time. So. Second is a great spot to be. Honestly, yeah. I kind of hate first because that <laughs> means I get the first pick, but then I also get the sixth pick. So, Wes, you get yeah. to do two picks in a row, meaning that oh. I have to be very, very strategic with my first pick. 30 seconds on the board, folks, for each pick. I'm on the clock. I... I'm going to pick, for my first pick, Copilot Chat. Okay. I guess we did. Yeah, we did. Isn't that say part this. of the editor now, <laughs> Scott? Didn't it's we just have him on? Yeah, it's built in now. Open Is it sourced. built in? If it's built well, in, then I... Not yet. Well, yeah. does it come by default? That's a good I'd, question. I... If you look at, well, if you we'll look at, I don't think it comes by default. We're not yeah. talking cursor here. We're not talking whatever. I like the co-pilot chat. Give me the co-pilot chat. Cool. You can have it. CJ. All right. First up, got to get fancy because this is a draft. So oh, my my, oh, yeah. my best blazer. <laughs> I don't even know if I own a blazer anymore. <laughs> this was from my friend's <laughs> wedding like 10 years ago. Okay. It doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't fit. Oh um, you got 16 CJ. seconds. Okay, yeah. yeah but, uh, my pick, 10. my pick is ESLint because I I can't function without ESLint, so it's at the top of my list. ESLint. Hmm. How 1990 of you, CJ? Yep. Wes, you're on the board. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So I am going to pick uh, comment tag template. So this is an extension that if you are ever writing any language in a string, like some CSS or uh, SQL and you want it to be highlighted, you want the autocomplete, you want everything, you can just put a little um, comment right before it, like, like star, forward slash star CSS or SQL, and it will highlight as if it were that language. Super handy. That's nice. your first overall pick? You guys write yes. on me for Copilot <laughs> Chat, and that's your first pick? No, okay. I'm, I'm being uh, smart about what I'm doing here, not giving away my best ones right away, because then you're going to mm. steal them. And okay, like you guys is... don't have great taste in in extensions, so I'm not scared <laughs> that you're gonna pick them first. Okay, I pick okay. useful ones, not yeah. random ones. <laughs> no, okay. it's not random. I use that every single day. Yeah, oh, that's bizarre. Okay, All right. Wes, you, your next pick is on the board. I'm picking Biome. Man, mm. I've been I've been starting so many projects lately, and I'm I'm just so exhausted with my freaking ESLint just not working. And I, I don't know why. And there's a new version of the thing out there and I have to migrate it. And I, I've just been like, you know what? Screw it. Biome. Boom. Throw that in. Slap it in nice and fast. It always just works. So um, you can have you, Slint. There, yeah, you can CJ. have Biome. Take, yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my pick next is called uh, Paste JSON as Code. Um, I use it all the time. Essentially, you can grab some JSON that came back from an API response open it up in VS Code, paste JSON as code, and it'll turn it into a TypeScript type. But they also support a lot of other languages too, so you could turn it into like a C-sharp class or whatever else. Uh, but I use this all the time when I'm talking to APIs or I yeah. have some like random JSON that I need to type for. So yeah, this is, I use it every day. I used to use some random website that would take JSON and, yeah. and convert it to TypeScript types. But now I just use, it's funny how many of these extensions I'm just like, well, I used to use this a lot, but now the AI just does it yes. for me. Uh, yeah, Copilot yeah. chat. 
<laughs> Come <Yeah>. on. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be your only pick because it does everything yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah, right, exactly. Okay, cool. I guess I am on the board. This is a tough one, folks. There's so many great extensions on my list still on my board. Y'all are picking nothing on my board here. Um, let's go ahead and this is one you may or may not have heard of. Actually, no, I'm going to go with one I use literally every day instead. I'm going with better comments. I love better comments. I use this every day. It allows you to annotate your comments with different symbols and it colors them. You can do an exclamation point and it makes it red or asterisk. It makes it blue. I use this all the darn time and it is my favorite extension. I have never heard of this. It looks great. Oh, That's awesome. man. Yeah, it's so Ooh. good. Yeah. All right. I guess I'm also on the board again. Snake drafting. All right, snake drafting. I got so many other favorites here in my toolkit, and I'm gonna go with another one you may have also not have heard of, but you are going to install it after this episode. Uh, that is CSS, I wrote peak, uh, but P-E-E-K, CSS peak. Basically, it gives you click through to CSS. So, you know, like in the VS code, you have a function, uh, you're using it somewhere, you hold the command key, you click or whatever, F12 or whatever to go to the definition of that function. This is that for CSS. It also gives you peaking so that if you hover over it, it shows you that CSS that exists within that class, essential tool for me. That's great. And I did not know this existed, but I need it in my life. Yes, it has like 7 million downloads. It's, it's, yeah, it's used, it's, great. it's cool. Well, uh, my next pick uh, is called Code Snap. So uh, sometimes I like to share screenshots of code on on X or wherever else. And what I like about Code Snap is it uses the syntax highlighting inside of your editor. So if you've already figured out your favorite theme or whatever else, Code Snap will take a picture of the highlighted code exactly as you see it in VS Code, but with nice like Window Chrome and like a nice uh, background. Oh, that's nice. Shadow. Yeah, and and it doesn't. One problem I have with my screenshots is often there'll be like a like a type error underline, Man. and <laughs> I have to like go figure out how to turn those off. I, I I went so far as to make a custom profile where the squiggles would be see through, <laughs> oh, so wow. that they wouldn't be in my screenshot. <laughs> so I I should just be using that. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't show any syntax highlighting or any, or like any squigglies or anything like that. Yeah. It's just it's just the syntax highlighting Simple. code. Yeah. Yeah. I almost never do that, but I, I I always appreciate them, the way they look. They look nice. Yeah. All right, I am <laughs> going to steal better comments. Check this no. out. So better comments with custom things. So obviously yes. you can do to do, right? But what I've done is I've taken it a bit further and I have a forward slash forward slash dot and it goes white. And I use that a lot for my, my coding screenshots where I want it to be different than my like regular comment, which is blue. But then I also have, when I'm teaching a course, I'll have methods and solutions and they'll have them highlighted differently. And then I have a couple others for just random, random colors. So stealing better comments. Nice. Mm. Scott, you got 10 seconds to replace it. 10 seconds. <laughs> Oh, dear God. Um, 10 I've, seconds. Wes just uses a steal. I'm going to say uh, GitHub pull request. Oh, that's what a is good that? one. It allows you to uh, manage your GitHub stuff through VS yeah. Code. You can comment on lines right from the the code editor you can mm. like uh, like stage a pull request right inside of vs code it's it's super good super handy uh yeah I, I always use the github ui i should try this out that was a massive fail on my part getting my things stolen and i also have several massive fails in my code base pretty much all the time but guess what I can not only solve them now but with a new feature in sentry i can log them Sentry's got logging now, and it's cool about like logging in, in Sentry compared to something like another logging generic database full of logs is that uh, you can connect those to your actual Sentry errors, and all of this information is like tightly connected in a way that makes, well, it makes it more powerful than just being like, here's a console log of an, an error or something that went wrong, let me connect it to everything that's going wrong, or which user or which operating system or which version or any of that stuff. This show is presented by Sentry. 
Wes, All right, I'm, you're I'm on picking the board error lens. Um, error lens yes. is something that will take your errors, whether they are linting errors or ESLint errors or whatever, um, TypeScript errors, and it will put them in line. So what I've done is I've tweaked error lens to be a little less obnoxious, like really nice and small. And then I've also added some custom rules to filter out the common ones, like unused variables. I don't need uh, unused variable in line. So I've, I filtered that out in my settings. So now, now I can just kind of see what my TypeScript or linting errors are as I'm coding. Hmm, that would have been a good century read, error lens. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Yes, I love error lens. Also use that. CJ, you're on the board. Yes, my pick is also error related. It's called pretty TypeScript errors. So yes, those TypeScript errors are typically really long, not formatted very well. Pretty TypeScript errors gives them syntax highlighting yes. um, and kind of boils it down to make it a bit easier to figure out what exactly was going wrong with a, a TypeScript error. So yeah, pretty TypeScript errors is mine. Sick. I love that. I, uh, I also have that on my list. I'm in a, a bind here because I got to do pick two. Um, I'm going to steal back better comments because oh. um, middle finger emoji, Wes, I, is my my most used. I use this all the darn time. I I also have custom ones set up. Okay, so you can have it. Ten seconds. I'm even going to give you a demo in that that ten seconds. Nah. Is uh, file utils. So if you're in a file, you can rename, move, delete a file right from the command palette instead of having to hunt for it in your sidebar. I love it. File utils. Nice. Definitely use that myself. Um, okay, my last pick here is going to be prettier code formatter. Prettier. Prettier. For formatting prettier? my code. Just prettier. Okay. I love prettier. I use it. Yeah, all the it's time. true. Imagine not having code formatting on save. That, that's awful. Yeah. So if you can't use prettier, like your your I guess your ESLint can do that yeah, so partially. I, I use, Some I of use it. ESLint with the stylistic rules, so it has all the formatting of prettier, and then I do lint on save behaves the same way. There you but go. It's ESLint. Well, I use Biome. I'm glad we're we're all not fighting over <laughs> our code formatting because that would suck writing yeah. code without formatting. CJ, you're on the oh, board. Oh, CJ. Um, the timer's going. Okay, I have one I like called To Do Tree. Yes, To Do Tree's on my list. Yeah, so a, a large code base. If you just put To Do in your comments, To Do Tree wraps them all up into a nice tree view, so you can see like what files these To Dos are inside of, and it has like nice highlighting of them. So yeah, sick. I'm picking one called Permute Lines. Um, I use VS Code as like a place to dump data, whether I have like a list of email addresses or. Uh, a list of IDs that need to be worked with. And if you need to remove duplicates, you need to shuffle them, you need to reverse them. These are three functions that I missed from Sublime huh. Text. And this is a meet lines um, built-in function. If you ever have to like open up Excel just to do something with your data or like build a little JavaScript function, this is what you need. Nice. Man, what a draft. <laughs> CJ, you didn't use a steal. Any strategy there? Just nothing that you liked. No, you guys didn't take the stuff I like, so I think I, I was yeah. I think I probably way. should have stole Pace's JSON just finding mm -hmm. out about that now. That's that yeah. seems super helpful. Yeah, a lot of good stuff here. So Let's take a look at each one of our teams. Scott's awesome team. First and foremost, we got Copilot, <laughs> Chat, GitHub pull requests, CSS peak, better comments, and prettier code formatter. I got a formatter. I got a CSS tool. I got better comments. I got GitHub integration, and I got AI chat. I'm sorry, y'all. That's a good team. Seems like the, the seems like the popular kids from high school. You know, <laughs> like not very good, but of course everyone not knows very about those. Good. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, my my team name is Get Shit Done because uh, I can yeah. lit my code. <laughs> I, can, I can generate types, take really good pictures. Uh, my errors are useful. I've got a nice way of handling to dos. So yeah, my my extensions let me get stuff done. Just the uh, just the typical thing I think of when I think of getting things done is taking pictures of my code. It's exactly. The, uh, influencer. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta let people know. Gotta let people know Taking what I'm working on. Of my <laughs> uh, mine is the like productivity functionality master stack. You know, it's mm. just the if anyone sees me coding, they say, "What the hell are you using with that? That I Good. need that. What is that? You know, it's not the popular stuff that Scott picked. Top five, whatever. <laughs> these are these are the ones that you're gonna want to know how to use. What did you all think of these teams? Which one of these would you rather have? Drop a comment below on who you think won 
this inaugural draft. Did you like this format? We have a lot of draft ideas in the future. I thought this was super fun, super funny. We have a, a lot more in the pipeline if, if you all like this. So let us know what you thought, but also most importantly, let us know what are your favorite VS Code extensions? What did we miss? And who do you think won? I'll say if you vote for me, I'm going to pick 10 people and send them syntax stickers. <laughs> That's not allowed. All right, cut. <laughs>